we want to find the volume of a sphere with a given radius. A sphere is pictured here, and the volume of a sphere is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. So in our case, the volume V is equal to 4 thirds pi times for r cubed, we would have 3 times the cube root of 16 pi squared divided by 4 pi cubed. Now let's simplify r cubed. To help us do this, let's include the exponents inside the parentheses. What I mean by that is this 3 here is really 3 to the first, and the 4 and the pi are also raised to the first. So now when we simplify this, when we have powers to powers, we multiply the exponents. So we'd have the volume v is equal to 4 thirds pi, and then 3 to the first raised to the third would be 3 to the power of 1 times 3, or 3 to the third. Now when we cube the cube root of 16 pi squared, this is going to simplify perfectly to the radicand of 16 pi squared. The cube root and the cubing undo each other. So we have 3 cubed times 16 pi squared, and all this is divided by 4 to the power of 1 times 3, or 4 to the third, and pi to the power of 1 times 3, or pi to the third. Now for the next step, we'll simplify out all the common factors between the numerators and denominators. So to begin, notice how we have a factor of 4 here in the numerator, and we have 4 cubed here in the denominator. And since 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1, and since 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1, this 4 will simplify to 1, and 4 cubed simplifies to 4 squared. So one factor of 4 has simplified out, and now notice how we have a 3 in the denominator here, and a 3 cubed here in the numerator. Again, 3 divided by 3 equals 1, so this 3 will simplify to 1, and 3 cubed will simplify to 3 squared. Next, notice how we have a factor of 16 here in the numerator, and we have 4 squared in the denominator, and since 4 squared is equal to 16, and 16 divided by 16 equals 1, this 16 simplifies to 1, and 4 squared simplifies to 1. Now let's take a look at our factors of pi. Here we have a factor of pi, which is a fraction would be in the numerator, and here we have pi cubed in the denominator. Because pi divided by pi is equal to 1, this pi simplifies to 1, and pi cubed simplifies to pi squared. And now notice how we have pi squared in the numerator and pi squared in the denominator. Pi squared divided by pi squared equals 1. So this simplifies to 1, and this also simplifies to 1. Now we can go ahead and find the product to determine the volume. The volume V is equal to, notice in the numerator now we just have 3 squared, and the denominator is now just 1. Well, 3 squared is equal to 9. 9 divided by 1 equals 9 and therefore the volume is 9 cubic units. I hope you found this helpful.